Wait, 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 wait before you just go to the main part. Hi, hello guys, this is Medbits, your exam savior. And today we are going to talk about liver system biomechanics. So let's begin. So liver is a rigid bar that turns about an axis of rotation or fulcrum. Or we can say in this way that liver is the simplest mechanism having two forces acting around a pivot or fulcrum. Okay, coming up with the parts of a liver. Now let's begin with the first one, fulcrum. Axis of rotation of the liver. Now this is the fulcrum, or you can call it as axis. Coming up with the next one, effort arm. The part of the liver that effort the force, also known as the winning force. Now this is the effort arm. This area is the effort arm from effort to axis or fulcrum. Now coming up with the next one is resistance arm. The part of the liver that applies the resistance force. The same as effort arm here is a resist resistance arm. Where the load is the resistance as you can see. Load to fulcrum is the resistance arm. Now coming up with the next one is force arm which is same as distance between fulcrum to effort it's same as the effort arm so there's nothing to worry about same here resistance arm also it is the same so here mechanical advantage is equal to ea by ra or fa by ra whatever is convenient by you now before starting the classes of levers i would like to say to you the importance of this one single topic because why means in every year if you just check it back through the university exams they actually pick at least one of the topics from this or first class or second class or third class it can be anyone so just don't skip them because they will ask anything about liver system that is for sure you cannot escape from it and it's a easy four or five marker so just don't ignore them and let's just begin first class liver now here fulcrum or axis lies between the effort force and resistance force right you can see right resistance force or effort force now effort arm can be more than resistance arm or vice versa now example is scissors or crowbar right so coming to the mechanical advantage here effort arm by resistance arm can be one less than one or more than one now this is the human example of first class liver the joint between the skull and the atlas vertebrae of the spine now atlas vertebrae means the first vertebrae as you can see it is the first most vertebrae near to the skull as you can see here the spine is the fulcrum across which muscles lift the head right as you can see the effort is pulling the load like it's pulling the head down in the knee extension you can touch and feel it there so that you can understand it as you can see here head and neck movement during neck extension second class liver here resistance always lies between fulcrum and effort force as you can see fulcrum and effort force you see the load coming down here in this case, EA will be always greater than RA. Hence, the mechanical advantage is equal to EA by RA is always greater than 1. Example is wheelbarrow. Or you can remember as a human example is plantar flexion. And always make sure that you have a human example because it is mainly asked in exam saying that you will need an ex uh, explain it with a human example could be joints or any muscles that you'll have to explain about in plantar flexion axis or fulcrum is metacarpophalangeal joint effort is by gastrocnemius muscle of calf resistance is our body weight third class liver now in this case effort always lies between axis or fulcrum and point of application of resistance as you can see it lies between fulcrum and the load effort term will be less than 
resistance arm. Mechanical advantage is equal to Ea by Ra which is less than 1. So now make sure that you know this uh, formula. So this is going to be an eye catcher for the examiner. So the examples are fishing rope, brooming brush, lifting hand. Fulcrum is the elbow. Resistance is the ball. Effective force is the biceps. Right. So that will be it. Now let's discuss the benefits of liver system. Right. It helps in increase power, increase distance, increase speed, transfer power from one place to another, precision in work safety and avoid risks. Now as we have learned liver system, let's summarize them shall we? Let's pick them one by one. Now coming with the first one is first class liver. In this case, the fulcrum lies between effort force and resistance force. So the examples can be neck extension as human example, scissors, etc. And the mechanical advantage in this case is Ea by Ra can be 1, less than 1 or more than 1. Now coming to the second class lever, in this condition load lies between effort force and the fulcrum. Okay, So the example of human is planned flexion and other perfect example is wheel barrow. So the mechanical advantage in this case is Ea by Ra is greater than 1. Now coming with the next one is third class liver. Now in this condition effort lies between fulcrum and load. So the example can be biceps curl, fishing rope, broom etc. So the mechanical advantage in this case is Ea by Ra is equal to less than 1. Congratulations, you have completed liver system and I hope you have understood the concept very well and I'm sure that you guys are going to smash that exam and it's going to be really good. So don't worry about it. Pray to God and everything is going to go good. And yeah, good luck guys. Until then, see you on next video. Bye.